AI is no longer a buzzword. We use it every day, and we come in contact with it when we unlock our phones with facial recognition, when we navigate across a city, and even when we look at what we want to watch on Netflix and we see recommendations for us. That's all AI. And it's also in industry when we have uh, diagnoses made, sometimes AI is behind that. And also the medications that are being made are often driven by AI. When we apply for jobs, our CVs are often being screened by AI. And now, when we write code, that can be done alongside AI. So it's having a huge impact on our lives. And I see the change that AI is driving as creating three big Cs of change. The first C is job cuts. We've talked about that impact that it can have. The second is creation of jobs. And the third is the collaboration with AI. So often when we ask people how do they feel about AI, people are generally more optimistic than they are pessimistic on average. But when you ask why they are pessimistic, the number one reason is the loss of jobs. We can all see it. And current studies that are coming out and are quite new do show that there is a bit of reason for concern in that space. Around 19% of jobs will have over half of their tasks automated through AI. This is particularly in copywriting and in PR, and that's a very scary sight. But on the positive side, if we learn from the history of technology, it's very clear that jobs are not just lost in isolation. We also see a reinstatement effect happen where new jobs come in its place. And we have a whole new field of AI-related jobs now. I work with these people. These are the AI engineers, right? And even now, there are new jobs that you might have not even heard of before. Have you heard of this role, a prompt engineer? That is a real job that is uh, advertised in New Zealand at the moment. And with this embracing of AI, there are huge productivity increases. So there was an interesting study that came out last week which taught an AI assistant how to help call center workers. And it demonstrated that call center workers who were at the lowest skilled workers were able to increase their productivity by 35%. And at the same time, they were able to increase the satisfaction of the customers on the other end of the phone, and it improved their retention. So this is an incredible thing for us all in our jobs, is to actually get these benefits of taking away those very mundane roles. And when we think about New Zealand and our special place in the world, it's a very interesting thing to ponder, because current estimates suggest that companies overseas are using AI to augment work. One estimate suggests that as much as 50% of companies are using AI right now in 2023. It's a huge boom that's been driven by generative AI. That's what drives things like ChatGPT. So it poses a question for us. What's the cost of not adopting AI? Particularly because AI has gone through a huge shift. It's now not just for the AI engineers. It's now for all of us. This year, we've seen AI become democratized. We can all engage with AI just using our natural language. And this means as well that AI is not just about high stakes, you know, a self-driving car. It can also be a form of creative expression. So I love this quote. AI won't replace jobs. People using AI will replace people not using AI. I think this whole new movement is a call to arms for all of us because AI is going nowhere. It's only going to increase. So our job is to stick 
with that trend and make sure that we're fluent in AI and we can use it to amplify our work as well. And a final note is that AI is an amplifier, both for productivity, as we've seen, and creative expression, but it can also be amplified for less positive things as well. This is particularly concerning as we look at things like deep fakes, where people can uh, emulate the voice and the face of other people. And this has the potential for misinformation spreading, which is something we should all be worried about as we approach an election. But to end on a positive note, if we think about the biggest issues of our time that we're facing right now, this is pandemics, this is climate change. AI is likely to be part of our solution to those biggest problems. Thank you very much.